Welcome, Spraylock Nation, to a glorious day here in Chattanooga, Tennessee. I got my buddy here, Brent. Today, we're going to talk about hot weather concrete. All right, but first, we got to catch people up on something that uh, I don't, I don't think you've shared with them yet. You got to meet my famous brother, Patrick Rollins, a few weeks ago. Yes, I did. Why would I tell anybody that? Because uh, he's Instagram famous. Instagram famous. Yes. Instagram's like my grandmother on speed dial. <laughs> That's perfect. <laughs> All right, so hot weather concrete, what is it? Uh, it's hot in Chattanooga right now. It is. I mean, it feels like hot soup when you walk outside the office. Uh, humidity and heat. And that kind of tr reminded us we haven't released a hot weather concreting video yet. So what happens or what hap how do you figure out that you have hot weather concrete concerns? When you walk outside and it's really, really hot and the humidity is low or concrete temperature is extremely hot. Yep. Or we have really high wind. Yes. And, and sun. Sun, yeah. So the ACI-305R gets into details, hot, that's hot weather concreting, gets into details about uh, what to expect during hot weather. Uh, we know that it can impact fresh and hardened properties, right? Yes. Yeah. Yeah. So uh, I know it can also affect test results and concrete compressive strength specimens, for instance, uh, can cook off quick. Your slab can set faster than you want it to, set times, slump loss even. Yeah. Um, Which can create other problems because finishers may or may not be putting extra water in there for workability reasons, yep. which increases the concrete's permeability, lowers its compressive strength because of a higher water cement ratio, um, which with the high wind, high temperatures, low humidity, yeah. and we get that thing that no one wants. What's that? Cracking. Cracking, yep. yeah. So plastic shrinkage as well as early onset drying shrinkage cracking because of the elevated moisture loss. That slab loses water a lot faster when it's hot outside and you have low humidity, high winds and those kind of things. So Brent, if there's only documents we could refer to that would help us through these. Absolutely. ACI 305, as mentioned, and ACI 308 curing of concrete, or I should say ex guide, guide and specification for curing, uh, uh, externally curing concrete. See, I totally messed that up, but uh, at least I got Or it. we could just say it's the curing, curing document. chapter yeah. for all things curing. Absolutely. So takes you through doing things like minimizing effect. Yeah, initial curing, minimizing effects of, of concrete temperature by, by cooling your ingredients down, starting your placements early in the morning or, or you know, even in the middle of the night, as we've seen. You know, I was going to I was going to ask you that question. I mean, when 305, 308 are going to talk about placement practices and how to do that as far as curing it and beyond. But you mentioned cooling your, like say, aggregates. Yeah. So from a ready mix producer, there's things you can do to help yes. some of this as well. Yeah. So the easiest thing for us to do uh, here in, you know, Chattanooga, Tennessee isn't like, uh, you know, New Mexico or Death Valley or something, but it does get hot here, and at around the 1st of June, we would begin sprinkling our coarse aggregate piles. We would, uh, we would have water, and that evaporative effects of that water you know, evaporating throughout the day would lower the concrete temp by seven or eight degrees Fahrenheit to get us, you know, it, it might not seem like much, but if you go from 98 degree concrete temps down to 90, that's a significant difference in the way that concrete's going to behave. So little tips and, and, and uh, strategies like that can really help with hot weather concrete. And of course, my personal favorite was the job that we may or may not have done close to here that we put some liquid in there to help cool the concrete temperature. Yeah, there. liquid nitrogen. That was, a, <laughs> that was an adventure. Uh, yeah, so give us a call, comment with your questions down below. Uh, thank you for joining us today and, and we hope that this has been a bit helpful for you as you address uh, hot weather concreting this summer. I hope everybody has a really successful summer and you pour a lot of concrete and uh, make a lot of money. And uh, Josh? Stay hydrated, stay safe, like, subscribe, and reach out to us for any questions you might have. Thank you. Thank you.